Hello, my name is Rick Holzinger, and I run investor relations for Build America Mutual, the municipal bond insurer. We're here today to talk about what Barron's has called the ticking time bomb in the municipal bond market. That's right, pension and retirement benefits and the potential credit risk that those entail. BAM is a mutual financial guarantor, and we only insure municipal bonds. Uh, we have a portfolio of over $46 billion um, that we currently insure the timely payment of principal and interest. We think about credit a lot, and pensions take up a lot of our time in terms of thinking about the credit risk of the underlying issuers. That's where Les comes in. Let me introduce Les Richmond, who is BAM's in-house pension actuary. He looks for the potential risk and potentially on literally every deal that we do, and in the process analyzes over 400 pension systems nationally every year. Uh, Les comes to us after 30 years as a consult consulting actuary in both public and private uh, sector clients. Les, let's start with the first question, Barron's headline. Is there a ticking time bomb, and how big is the risk? Well, I, I wouldn't particularly characterize it as a ticking time bomb, uh, but it is true that uh, the public sector funded status, assets divided by liabilities, has deteriorated, especially since fiscal 01, when, according to public fund survey data, which encompasses about 80% of U.S. public sector pension plans, pensions were, in aggregate, about 100% funded back in fiscal 01. If you look at it, uh, how that's trended downward to today, we're probably in the low 70s there. That translates into roughly a trillion dollars of unfunded pension liabilities. And, um, and that's based on the uh, financially report, financial statement reporting of, of uh, government employers. Now, the good news is that the, these liabilities don't have to be paid off all at once. So if it's a ticking time bomb, it's kind of ticking slowly uh, because in most cases, governments do have time to right the ship, uh, change their policies, and address the unfunded pension liabilities. Well, those numbers sound sizable, Les. Um, how big is and widespread is the issue, and does it truly cover the entire market? Well, it doesn't cover the entire market. In fact, if it did, I, I wouldn't have a job at BAM. Uh, I have to look at, um, uh, I have to look at uh, pension risks throughout the country, and there are um, areas where it's better than others. That's why you have to look at pension risk um, on an individual issuer by issuer basis to really dig deep and see what's driving uh, the risk to bond investors. You said that most of these issuers have time. So what if, what if they don't ta take action? What's a failure look like? Well, if you think about what BAM does, uh, BAM insures municipal bonds for the long haul. We have a, we lo have a very long time horizon of, that, that we look at when we assess pension risk. And uh, the risk to BAM is paying a claim, when, and that happens when uh, a bond issuer defaults on their obligations, right? So um, how could that happen? Well, the pension risk there is that these costs become so burdensome that they actually crowd out the issuer's other abilities to pay for services, to pay for, uh, and in the extreme case, to pay for debt service on their bonds. So failure would be a crowding out that really impairs a, a, an issuer's ability to pay their debt service. So uh, how do you analyze the risk? Let's get in the weeds a little bit. How do you get comfort that a particular issuer is credit worthy? Well, we have a, a very extensive uh, a method of analyzing pension and other post-employment benefits, OPEB risks. And there's a quantitative piece and a qualitative piece. Um, and looking at the quantitative piece uh, first, uh, we start with uh, publicly disclosed uh, pension information in financial statements. Um, we take that and we adjust it to on a conservative basis. So we'll take the unfunded liabilities, adjust that to our conservative basis, also contributions adjust, adjusted conservatively. Now, we combine unfunded liabilities with total debt, and we combine adjusted conservatively contributions with debt service. Now, from there, those are just numbers. So from there, what we do is we construct quantitative metrics that give us an idea about 
um, the degree to which the budget of an issuer is going to be consumed by these costs over the long time, over the long period of time. And, uh, you know, to the extent that we can get comfortable that these costs can be absorbed by an issuer, we feel pretty comfortable over the long term that, uh, that these costs will be manageable. From there, we, do, we look at quantitative, qualitative factors, uh, demographic risks, the investment mix uh, of the pension fund assets to see regarding how risky they are, funding policy risks, and all of these things are particular to the issuers um, that really could be very different even within a state or within a sector. So um, we take all these, we combine them, and I provide our credit analysts with a comprehensive note on what we believe are the pension and OPEB risks to these issuers. And uh, this is something that investors in BAM insured bonds can take comfort that these risks have been thoroughly vetted uh, before they purchase the bonds. Thank you, Les. We here at BAM spend a tremendous amount of time and effort on pensions to discern any potential effects on the credits that we underwrite. I hope that this session has provided some insights into these issues. Thank you very much.